Come on. Going solo uh, was not part of the plan, uh, but I think the world's very like dramatic these days, and people are. As soon as I started doing something solo, people were like, "Oh, that's the end of the band and stuff." What is? It's just not. Uh, as I said, it wasn't planned, but there, I kind of always have songs that are not suitable for the band. There were songs that have been left over from Mask and stuff, but I was not thinking solo until maybe next year or a year after that. Uh, so it was. Um, not planned, but it's here and it's happened uh, after 18 months of doing Mask. I, and it was continuous as well. It wasn't just like, uh, take a, there was no breathers in between. It was 18 months of writing, recording, uh, and then getting on the PR train, which is something I hate because you're kind of banging your own drum. And by that year and a half, I was, to be honest, burnt out. Not because of the physical duress or that it was particularly uh, a, a physical demanding job. It was uh, 18 months of beating myself up, like every day kicking the shit out of myself, that I wasn't really good enough and that I could write a better song, I could do a better thing. And I, I just felt like a costume of a man by the, at the end of those 18 months. So I took a decision to take six months off and do nothing, anything but music was the, the plan. And that lasted about a month, um, <laughs> and that was including Christmas. And I got bored. I got really bored, yeah, of uh, not doing music, but knew I couldn't do anything with the band. So I thought, I wonder what I can do uh, myself, where I'm not gonna be beating myself up and just do a record for me. And it's kind of therapeutic as well. Mm -hmm. 